how to have conversation. That's true. They're not have an intellectual conversation. I don't want to talk about. I don't want to talk about all the pain in your life, all your dead homes. I don't want to talk about. That. <laughs> I want to talk about like real ass shit that go on in the world. How I want to talk about what you want to do. What's your take on this? What you want to do with your life? Okay, so before we get into this, guys, make sure you subscribe, like this, uh, like this video, and also hit the notification bell. One thing that actually really helps more than anything is to share these videos with anybody you think needs to needs to see this. Um, so, uh, World Star is the cesspool gift that keeps on giving. Okay, it's like a toilet that just won't flush. It's like a stopped up toilet, and there is a constant influx of BS on there, and this is one of them. So. I did a video um, the other day responding to Jesse Wu, who was talking about how men are emotionally unintelligent and not emotionally available. The reason why most men are emotionally unavailable, emotionally unintelligent, as she says, is this. You may think this is extreme. You may think that this is something that's out of the ordinary, but this is the mindset that I'm seeing so, so much today of this generation. And honestly, even before that. Um, before this generation, let's be honest, somebody had to teach them how to behave like this. But what is happening is when a man is opening up or he's telling you his feelings when he's, ex you know, expressing himself and literally, I mean, these women are talking about, he's talking about his friend who got shot or issues that he's had growing up with his dad and how he's feeling. Look at what they're saying. They say, I don't want to talk about that BS. I want to talk about some real ish going on in the world. Like What? Does anybody think these women are talking about world affairs, talking about what's going on in Afghanistan? They're talking about how to, you know, build schools or how to solve hunger or, or poverty, how to, you think they're talking about this or they're talking about, I want to talk about what happened on love and hip hop. I want to talk about what happened on uh, keeping up with the Kardashians. I want to talk, the, are, the, are these really the, the, the road scholars, the, the, the women who are the movers and shakers of, of industries and, 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 and education and, and that these women are able to even eloquently um, have conversation about real topics and real issues from a place of understanding, a place of practicality, a place of critical thinking? Absolutely not. And this shows the callousness of so many women today where they will say, you know, open up, talk to me. But then look at how they're treating them. And a lot of times a woman will listen, but then she'll be dismissive of it. Well, you know, all right. They don't really have anything to offer when the man does open up. There's no real advice. and Or she won't even listen. So the, as soon as he starts talking about something, she starts injecting herself into the situation. She starts injecting what she's been through or trying to solve his problem. And a lot of times men just want you to listen. And I've had to learn this. Because we as women, we're used to kind of like, as women, we'll be talking to each other and just go back and forth, back and forth. Girl, you think so? I don't know. And what are that? And we're used to that type of conversation style. But so many of us have not learned, one, how men communicate. Two, how men express emotions. Three, what a man needs from you when he does that. And four, how to be a comforter, nurturer, and caretaker of a man's emotions. Why would a man express anything to women like this? And you may say this is an extreme example. no. There were like even celebrity women saying stuff like this. That's all about her, all about her bag. And let's be honest, what are these women talking about? Getting flued out a bag with the latest City Girls song? Like these are not people thinking on some higher plane, some higher level for the most part. Or it's about her problem. See, when she comes to you with her problems, what happens? It's almost like you are held hostage until she gets it all out. You, she, you have to sit there, listen, and, 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 and hear everything she has to say. And if you dare move, if you dare don't listen, if you dare want to do something else, if you dare don't engage in what she's talking about, oh, 
he's a dog, or you don't listen to me, and all this other stuff. And then what happens when they break up? What does she say? It's all his fault. He's not emotionally available. Because when he was talking about his stuff, you didn't have time for it. But when you talked about your stuff and he listened, but it wasn't the exact precise way you wanted him to, now he's emotionally unavailable. And this is the thing. Men are afraid to, not afraid. I don't want like they're fearful of women, but they are anxious, I think is a better word, of sharing emotions like that because it's belittled so much. Think about it. Where's an emotional outlet for men in this world? Where's this emotional outlet? Women have a ton of them. Okay, we can express emotions. We can cry. I have a video where I was crying the other day because I, I felt like God was calling me to do this channel. Um, but I was scared to because I said people are going to be like, well, sis, are you didn't you just are you go through a divorce after 11 years of marriage? Like, why are you giving advice or why are you talking like this? And your stuff ain't, you know, I don't see no ring on your finger no more. I, you, you know, who do you think you are to talk this, that and the other? Because I was warned so many people would attack me and be vicious and be nasty. The people who claim the most, us as women, we claim to be so emotionally intelligent, to be so nurturing and to be be his peace, which is another thing women like to say. They don't even know what that is. They don't even know what the word peace means historically, biblically, or by Webster's Dictionary, but they're going to be it somehow. And so what happens is, you know, I was afraid to do that because I, I knew it would I would not get verbally assaulted by men. It would be women because we claim to have all this emotional intelligence or we want people like Kevin Samuels to say it with a nice tone and to be sweet and dress it up pretty. And, you know, you didn't have to say it that way. But do we do that as women? And so the hypocrisy is over and over. You're seeing this. And this is why so many men have shut down. They're not going to open up at all. You cannot crack that shell because it's a wall of protection. They've had to protect themselves. So the very women who say they want to be his peace, they want to be that they're nurturing and that they're going to take care of him. These women are, this is what they're saying. Things like this. And even if they don't say it, you know, these mindsets exist. Men are not allowed to be emotional at all. And we think that by telling a man to man up, take it like a man and us doing this over and over, it's going to get us better results. But more and more we're seeing men are shutting down. They're not emotional. They're not going to be emotionally available because why should they? I would not even want to talk to these women as a woman to share anything I'm going through. Girl, I don't care about what happened to you. Let's talk about what happened on Love and Hip Hop. Let's talk about uh, uh, what we going to do when we go to Miami. Like things like that. That's what they find important. But you talk about it. I mean, she's actually saying a death. I want to talk about that of a loved one. <laughs> the abuse you suffered as a child. I don't want to talk about that. How you feeling today? I don't care how you feeling. I don't feel good. And this is what we do because toxic feminism has taught women that we are queens. We are supreme. The way we feel, the way we think, what we do, there is no wrong to be seen in it. And if if anything goes wrong in a relationship, it's a man. He's not emotionally available. That we're just these, these bastions of light, these bastions of, of nourishment and, and, and care and um, fidelity to a man. And it's an absolute lie. Over and over, you can watch any TV show, you will see the toxicity the most is coming from our direction. And I don't know why women have been blinded by this. I claim it to the Jezebel spirit. And actually, if you're not a Christian, honestly, there's a lot of wisdom about this, it's particularly about women like this in Proverbs. It is, I mean, it's almost like history rewriting itself over and over these cycles of women which the Bible also warns about the wicked woman. It does not warn about the wicked man. There were wicked kings instances, but there's a general broad, there's a broad generalization in Proverbs about women being wicked till you get to the Proverbs 31 woman. And so in this way, this is where we are going to have to start having these conversations because this was absolutely cruel. This was destructive. And, but this is the mindset that I'm seeing over and over that men can be verbally and emotionally assaulted and it's celebrated, but let a man do anything and he is going to be crucified. How is this fair? How is this equality? And more importantly, ladies, how is this going to get us better results?